Hey everybody, I want to do a video for you today about the mysterious VN900 uh, oil mysteriously getting into the regulator rectifier connector. Um, I'm a technician at a power sports dealership. I was going to do this video with the actual bike in front of me, but my boss wouldn't allow it, so whatever. I'm going to just explain it to you the best that I can. Um, so like I said, I'm a technician in a power sports dealership, and I came across this issue the other day, and basically what happened was the guy's charging system wasn't working anymore on his VN900, Kawasaki Vulcan 900. And so uh, I checked out. The first thing I went to check was the uh, regulator rectifier to uh, make sure the diodes were going in the right direction or I was getting continuity in the right direction on the regulator rectifier. As soon as I took the connector apart, <clears throat> I saw all kind of oil inside of the actual uh, connector for the regular rectifier. Wasn't sure exactly where it was coming from right away. Um, eventually I did figure it out where it was coming from which is really strange uh, really weird um, so what it is basically is that you're getting oil coming from the crankcase so the connector for the reg regulator if you follow that all the way up it's going to go up and go into the top of the stator cover okay there's two, uh, there's two grommets there, okay? One for the regulator rectifier and one for the crank sensor. Um, so both of these grommets going into the stator cover, uh, basically they let a very small amount of oil pass through and slowly over time you get a collection of oil down lower because of gravity obviously. Uh, it's gonna <clears throat> pull the oil to a lower location and it, it took me a little while to figure it out which which really shouldn't have because there's really only the one place it could be coming from but it's just happening in a way where I just I didn't think it was was coming from there regardless the the way I the the, the reason I know for a fact it is coming from uh, the inside the stator those grommets um, I, I literally cut one up open and saw that there's oil inside the rubber grommet when I changed the stator because the stator ended up being bad on this particular motorcycle um, so yeah once I changed the stator uh, I took the old one out and I cut that open and I did visually see oil uh, inside the inside the grommet so basically it's kind of a manufacturer defect um, so as I was saying before uh, the reason I know for a fact it is coming from there is because if, if you notice the uh, crank sensor where that comes out of the same spot and it, and it goes down uh, to where it's uh, held on by a metal clamp, uh, there will be oil coming out of that also. So you'll see uh, a tiny bit of oil on the connector for the uh, crank sensor also. Um, really, I, I, I don't know that there's an actual fix for it. If I were to come up with something, uh, I would actually fill it, possibly, the end with silicone. Uh, other than that, it's, it's a manufacturer defect that, uh, and I'm hoping I don't get fired for this, but yes, from Kawasaki. It's a manufacturer defect, so... Uh, basically, that's it. It's not a mystery anymore. It's where your oil's coming from. Fool. Alright, this is Sean with... What am I doing here? Uh, oh, this is just my YouTube channel. So, I'm going to be doing more videos on other issues that I've come across. Manufactured defects. Um... Uh, Fixes for certain things that I just I just came across a, a fix that I did on a Honda So uh, I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos on that also so until next time